Lots of fun was had playing a game with challenges read from pieces of paper. morning I think we're just going to be talking about infertility and um, how it relates to you, how it can be prevented. Miss Mboye, I regret to inform you that you've been evicted from the Miss Nigeria house. So when the whole thing happened, they were like, instead of losing both, why not just go and write your exams? Because since we're up for eviction. My discussion with Ms. Eboing took a very interesting turn last night, so we decided to have a discussion with the other ladies involved as well. Let's take a look. So I'm with Ms. Kano, Ms. Gombe, and Ms. Bielsa. Yes. Hi, ladies. Hi. Hi. You're all here because I want to know, what do you know the situation with Ms. Eboing? She's actually my friend. She is. She had to make issues to do with her exams and all that. And actually, she wasn't so sincere about it. So it made her leave the camp before time. Actually, we talked to her yesterday. That's myself and her. We, we were trying to advise her. We were like, why not tell them you have exams? Remember, you're in your final year, and you need this more than this beauty pageant. You can still come back next day. She was like, she was going to tell the chaperons. I, I think she told them, but that was late. So you're saying your intentions by telling her to go and tell um, the organizers that she had exams the next day yeah. were good intentions? Yes. Yeah. You don't feel like you sabotaged her in no, any way? No, no, no. So are there other contestants in this house that currently have exams but are missing it for mm -hmm. the Miss Nigeria pageant? I didn't know about that. I just know about her because she's my friend. And as a and friend, I'll talk to her as a friend. So even though the advice got her evicted, you still feel like he would have given her the same advice over yeah. again? Yeah. Yes, I do. Why? You know, the truth is always better. The truth so is better. We, we, had to, we had to tell her the truth. That's it. So, Ms. Cano, can you call that sabotage then? Because you know that the advice would get her evicted from the house. That's one less contestant vying for the Miss Nigeria crown. No, I won't, I won't say that was sabotage. I think we're just saying the truth. Being sincere. Yeah. It's I'm not about... Sincere. Actually, I, f I do believe in the truth to set you free. That's just it. I believe if she had told them earlier on, before now, they would have done something to help her out. Maybe send someone go yes. with her to the exam hall and bring her back. But she said that late. It was quite late. So, Ms. Gombe, you did say Ms. Eboni was your friend. Yes, she still is my friend. And you say you would still give her the same advice if you had the same chance to do it over again? Yes, I will. So did you see Miss Eboye as a threat in any way? No, I don't mm -hmm. see her as a threat. Everybody has an equal chance here. Is it about proving who you are, proving your abilities, proving what you have in your head? Everybody's brilliant. I don't, I don't look down on anybody here. And I don't see anybody as a problem to me. It's all about me being me and you being you. And if you're you and you're more unique than I am, which I feel I'm also unique, then you show everybody how unique you are and I show everybody how unique I am. It's all about everybody showing how unique you are. So, Ms. Bielsa, if you were Ms. Boyne, would you have gone to tell the organizers that you had exams the next day? Yes, because actually they told us that if we know any of us has an exam doubt, we should tell them before coming to camp. They asked us, they settled the issue before coming to camp, but she still insisted and came to camp. And when she told us, we were like, your, your exam, your school is more important than this patient. You can still come back next day. Just imagine spending five years in school, and after everything, you want to dump your education just for a bit pageant that you can still come back anytime. Like She was like, she, she thinks we are saying the right thing. So Ms. Eboni feels that all of you came together to get her evicted. We all met here in camp. Nothing, nothing personal about anybody. We are just friends here. Okay. Those who thought yesterday's early morning exercise was a one-time thing were in for a shock. Let's take a look. Okay, let's go. 
It's 6.15 a.m. and the Miss Nigeria contestants are on the beach. They seem to be coping a little better now that they've gotten used to the idea of exercise at sunrise. Welcome back, Miss Eboyne. Thank How you. are you? I'm fine. The saga of Miss Eboyne okay. continued. You look good. You okay? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a couple questions about the incident that happened. Okay. By now, we're all aware of what happened, the unfortunate situation. So, was your mother aware that you actually enrolled yourself in the Miss Nigeria 2010 competition? Yeah. She gave you yeah. permission? Yeah. She did? How come the other ladies in the house said that you can't, you ran away from home? I really not. I was surprised when I heard that. You never told them that you I ran away from home? I never told them I ran away from home. More than one lady said you ran away from home. No, probably I told them about the exam. I was saying about, talking about the exams and everything, but I never said I ran away from home. Okay. So if we called your mother right now, what do you think she would say? Of course, she would tell you that she knows I'm here. Does she know you're missing your exams? Yeah, because I told her I would be writing the exams after the council. Would you like to join the other contestants back in the Miss Nigeria house? Yeah. You would? Yeah. So in, in spirit of fairness, and just so we know everything's OK, I think it's best that we call your mother. OK. OK. So I'm going to call, call her right me. now. Right. I'm going to just ask her a couple questions. OK. OK. This is Wunika Mukan from the Miss Nigeria office. Hi. I'm sorry to call you under such circumstances. I just had a couple questions because I'm sitting here with Barbara, and we just want to be clear before we move forward. We wouldn't want to do anything without your permission. Hi. Were you aware that Barbara was enrolling herself in the Miss Nigeria competition 2010? How long ago were you aware that she was going to be here at the Miss Nigeria camp? Two weeks ago. Are you aware that Barbara has exams in university right now? Yes, I know. Yes. And you gave her yes. and you gave her permission to miss them to be here at the competition. Okay, we just wanted to clarify because there were there were a couple of um, um, rumors that you were actually unaware that she was here, and we didn't want to move forward without the permission of her primary guardian, obviously her parents. Pardon? Okay. Okay. So she's she's actually. She's actually still here in the resort with us. And like I said, we wanted to clarify some things with her. OK, so your mother's aware. So you think it was just a malicious rumor? Probably because I told them I had exams to write. And I don't know. So Barbara, I don't understand. If you did have permission from your parents and you already knew that you were going to take your exams after the competition, why did you make it such a big deal to everybody that you needed to make your exams? You know you alarmed everyone. You. Um, 
you brought attention to yourself. Yeah, because I said that after the eviction thing, when they told me I was up for eviction, I was like, instead of staying till then, maybe I should just go and write the exams. Okay. So everything has just been a big misunderstanding. Yeah. And your parents were aware the whole time. Yeah. Oh, how unfortunate. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. And for our next challenge, we're taking our contestants back to the basics. We're taking them through the local village to the market where they'll buy their own food and cook everything by wood fire. Let's see how they do. A short walk to the local village in the market where they must buy their ingredients. There is quite a variety on offer, all from the local village. This is something new for most of the ladies, buying your own fresh ingredients with limited funds and then cooking on open fires. All kinds of recipes are being discussed, each team trying to outdo the other. It seems fish will be the main ingredient in all the pots. Making tasty food in a pot on an open fire is not so easy. So finally, the moment we've all been waiting for is here. Our lovely contestants have spent a lot of time preparing this food. It's such beautiful presentation. Let me introduce you to the judge. Chef Richard will be tasting the food and we will pick a winner. So um, let me introduce Miss Oyo. Can you tell us a little bit about your dish? Of course. The, the dish we have in front of us here is called pal porridge. And it's a Yoruba dish. The Yoruba calls it asaru. The Igbo people call it jiawani. And the Aosa people call it petin doya. Um, it's a really popular Yoruba dish. Um, it could be served at weddings, you know, parties, or even when you're at home. You can make it, you know, when you're really hungry because yam is really filling. And basically the ingredients we used were, you know, we used some dry fish, we used some pepper, onions, and of course the yam. Did you find everything you needed at the market? We did, we did. We found everything we needed. Did you have enough money? We did, and we had 300 naira left over too. Oh, really? Can I yes. have it? Yes, of course you can. It's right here. So we decided to serve it with some fruit because Yam is um, very filling, so you don't really need, you know, heavy desserts, and it's good to go. Okay, so Chef Richard, yeah. why don't you go ahead and have a taste, yeah. and we'll see if it's everything that Ms. Oyo claims it to be. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Ms. Oyo. No problem. Okay, Ms. Gombe. Okay, what we have over here is a product of a teamwork from eight ladies. And what we have is called jollof rice. It's a general dish made both in Africa and around the world. Okay. It's made of fresh tomatoes, dried fish, of course the fresh fish, and we had some fruits for dessert to make the food balanced in the system. Okay. Thank you. All right, so did you have any money left over? Yes, we had 200 naira left over. Okay, can I have it please? Thank you. Thank you. Chef Richard? <laughs> okay, Miss Edo? Wow, this looks very, very interesting indeed. Thank you. Can you please tell me a little bit about your process? We prepared um, a popular Nigerian dish called yam porridge. Now, although yam is the main ingredient in the food, which is carbohydrate, Yam porridge is actually a balanced diet because it's got tomatoes, it's got pepper, it's got onions, and it's got fish. 
so it's balanced. Okay. It's, um, you could eat it any time of the day. It's not very heavy, so you can eat it for breakfast, you can eat it for dinner, or you can eat it for lunch. Did you find everything you needed at the market? Yes, yes, we did. Did you have any money left over? Yes, we, we have 200 now left. Okay, can I have and this is it. Thank, Thank you. you. Chef Richard, yeah. you please. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ms. Edo. And last but not least, we have Ms. Zamfara here. This looks very tasty. <laughs> it is tasty. It is? Yes. OK. Um, so can you please tell me a little bit about your process? All right, so the members of Group 1 decided to make uh, a typical Nigerian dish okay. called yam with fish sauce. OK. Yes. OK, so with the sauce, it was just um, tomatoes, pepper, fish, yam, maggi, salt, and the rest. Okay. Okay. So this is a balanced diet meal, actually. Okay. You can have it for breakfast, you can have it for lunch, you can have it for dinner. Any breakfast. Anytime you want. And it can also be complemented with any local or traditional drink, like palm wine, really? zobo, canoe. Even water could serve, okay. whichever you want. So did you find everything you needed at the yes, market? Yes, we did. We you did. have any money left over? Of course. We have 300 naira left over. Oh, wow. OK. All right, Chef Richard, please do us the honor of tasting this lovely meal. Thank you very much, Ms. Zamfara. You can step back. And now, Chef Richard, yep. um, you've tasted all the meals. Yes. Uh, are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with the yam porridge and fish stew. I mean, mm. the yam and fish stew, excuse me. The food is tasty, but the yam, the taste has not entered very well. The taste didn't enter very well. Yes. The seasonings? Yes. It wasn't enough. It's not enough. Oh. Okay, let's go to the next dish, please. This one. So this was yam porridge. Yeah, it's the same thing with the other one, but this one, maybe the taste of the fish spoil this one. Oh no. The yes. fish spoil the whole dish? Yes. Wow. Because it's not that was a vital part of the dish yeah. was the fish. It's not up to. Not up to par. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go to this jollof rice. I mean I'll be quite disappointed because it was looking Yeah. So what, what, what is your critique? The presentation is very okay. Exactly. But when you taste the food. It was it's, deceiving. It's like it's burned. It's burnt. Uh, yeah. They burnt the rice. Yes, because wow. it tastes burning. If you like, you can have the taste. And what about the fish? Mm, the fish also. There no season inside the fish. Did you season the fish? Yes. Oh my goodness. Oh, Miss Gombe. Gombe. Excuse me. Okay. All right. Well, do you have anything good to say about the dish? There was no positives. Mm, what I have there, the, the presentation. The presentation is okay. okay. All right. And then on to Miss Oyo's. This one. Fantastic. Oh, fantastic. Wow! I would like to even employ her to You employ them? Yeah. My goodness. You could pour it for me. Well, I'm just happy you like something. <laughs> yeah, very, very nice. So at least there's yes. a good chef yeah. amongst us. Yes. OK. Thank you very much. Yeah. So Miss Oyo, would you like to yeah. chef Thank you. Thank you. Okay. You do very well, John. So congratulations. Thank you very much. Your team are the best cooks. It's, it's, I wouldn't have done it without them. They're okay. amazing. That was the cooking challenge. I mean, the ladies, they really tried. They improvised. They tried their best. But at the end of the day, we only had one winner. So thank you to um, yeah. Chef Richard. Thank we you appreciate much. it. Thank you very much. And until we see you next time on our next challenge on Miss Nigeria 2010. My name is Onye Maikinzago. I live in Lagos where things are getting better every day. Our school has just been renovated and they give us free notebooks too. Going to school is easier and safer for students like me because I can cross the highway using the footbridge and I use the BRT bus which is fast, convenient and free for students like me. I enjoy looking at the beautiful streets on my way to school.
And the many street signs tell me where exactly I am. When I get to basic 12, the government will pay the fees for my GCE and NECO examinations. I am happy. My mom and dad says all these good things are happening because they pay their taxes. I hope to pay my taxes when I grow up and start working. Have you paid your tax? Pay your tax. It's your civic responsibility. It's your duty. It's the law. Exceptional. At Guaranteed Trust Bank, we realize that you are exceptional. That's why wherever we are, we're driven by the passion to exceed your expectations. Guaranteed Trust Bank. Wouldn't you rather bank with us? My name is Femi Durujai. Welcome to the New Lagos where things are improving every day. I work on the island and live on the mainland. But that's no longer a problem. With improved roads, I get to walk faster. Sometimes I even leave my car and use the Bayouti bus, which is comfortable, fast, efficient, and reliable. After a hard day's work, the nights and evenings are even more fun. The streets are better lit, and the city is more secure, so I can catch my phone in peace. I pay my taxes because I want to continue enjoying the good things a big modern city like Aligos brings. So it's my taxes that makes them real. Have you paid your tax? Pay your tax. It's your civic responsibility. It's your duty. It's the law. Airtel is a recharge. Gives you the freedom to recharge your phone from only 15 naira. From 15 naira, get instant airtime electronically from your retailer now. Now, it's Airtel is a recharge airtime in no time. Two faced things is still too good. Oh, Airtel Wazobia, recharge now. Now, now, Airtel, feel free. One day, we had a vision to improve the way people access their fuel products. So we built the largest privately owned oil trading network in sub-Saharan Africa. But that was not enough. So we pioneered the provision of cleaner, safer fuel to local industries through the fastest growing gas supply network in sub-Saharan Africa. Still, that was not enough. So we invested in the acquisition of rigs for oil and gas exploration. We strive towards our future. When we, a proudly Nigerian company, will offer the complete solution to Nigeria's energy needs. Owando, the future is here. Charades on the beach around a campfire. We have a group of quick-witted contestants. They're coming up with the answers quite swiftly. One empty chair for the evicted Miss Epoin.
I'm sure you're all wondering why there's an extra chair here. And, uh, okay, I'll let you guys know. So, um, I'm sure you all know that Ms. Eboyin was sent home yesterday. Um, a lot of accusations caused her to be sent away from the Miss Nigeria house. However, we've spoken to her parents and cleared up all concerns about her decisions and her integrity. So, Miss Nigeria is actually happy to welcome Miss Eboyin to the Miss Nigeria house. Ms. Eboyin, please join the rest of the contestants. Well, that's it for today's episode. So keep your SMSs going if you want to see your favorite Miss Nigeria contestant on the final stage in Abuja. So bye-bye from the Miss Nigeria Resort. Not everyone seems equally pleased. Courage, the strength, grace, praise, and thank you is beautiful.